Welcome to the second part of our tutorial on model resources. In this tutorial, we will focus on three resource types. The first one is the book, the second, the page, and the third, the label. Let's start with the book. The book is a multi-page resource with a book-like format. So it allows you to be able to add pages of resources onto your course. To add the book resource type, you need to first ensure that you turn editing on so that your course is in editing mode. Proceed to the specific topic or section of your course where you want to add the book resource. Click on the add an activity or resource on the section where you want to add the book resource. Let's focus on the resource tab and select the option book. Let's give our resource a name. So in this case, it will be the week one book resource. So uh, by resource is in week one, so it's the week one book resource. In the description, I can just give a short description uh, indicating to the students, go through the uh, sections or pages of the book too and work on the activities provided in the activity description. Once you have put in the name of the book resource, which is a week one book resource, then you've put in a description. Make sure to display description on course page. Um, you can also include the activity completion so that the system can track the completion so of this activity. So in this activity, students show this activity complete when the student has viewed this activity to complete it. So when the student reads through all the pages of the book, then the system will actually mark that they have actually completed this activity. You can also set a date or a timeline within which you want the students to read that resource. If you're very strict on the timelines within the which they're supposed to read through the book resource. Once you're done, click save and return to course. So that is the first step of adding the book tool. So we have added the book resource. So the next step, so this is my week one book resource. So the next step is to add the pages of the book. So click on the book tool to open it. Then we can put the pages. So this is page one. So in page one, you can put in the content of your book here. Okay, sometimes you may have the content somewhere, so you can just copy and paste the content there. So type in the page one, which is the first page of your book, paste the content of that page, then click save changes. So this is the first page. You can then proceed to add the second page of your book. Okay. So to be able to add the pages, make sure that you show the blocks, okay? Then click this particular icon to add another page. So this is page two. So page two of my book, then paste the content or type in the content, click save changes. You can then also add another page at the end, which is page three and paste the content. Do this up to the point where you've added all the book sections or the pages of your book. Once you're done, you can turn editing off so that you can be able to view your book. So you can see the content of the first page, second page, and even the third page. So that is how you add a book resource and then add the pages to a book.